What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, lightweight, star title contender, Frank the Ghost Martin, 17 wins, no loss, no draw, 12 wins by way of knockout, 28 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 68 inch arm reach, whom is a southpaw, is going to take on our team, uh, Haratunian tonight who is 12 wins no loss no draw seven wins by way of knockout it's a german boxer orthodox fighter five foot seven and a half with a 68 inch army this is going to be an opportunity for frank martin to make a statement now our team is not a very well-known fighter here in the states he is a olympic bronze medalist uh he has a decorated amateur background but here in the states with only 12 fights seven wins by way of knockout he's crafty but this is the moment frank martin has to show levels in this fight because he wants to fight the likes of undefeated olympic silver medalist two division world champion former unified wbc wbo super featherweight world champion and now a lightweight superstar title contender shakur stevenson who is 20 wins no loss no draw 10 wins by way of knockout 25 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 68 inch arm reach, and he's a southpaw and a skilled marksman, okay, and a defensive wizard. And he also is looking to face the likes of five time world champion, three division world champion, superstar, undefeated boxer in Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis is 28, 29 wins, no loss, no draw, 27 big wins by way of knockout. He is 28 years of age, 5'5 five five with a 67-inch arm reach, and he too is a southpaw, okay? Uh, so with that said, then this undefeated, undisputed lightweight world champion, superstar boxer Devin the Dream Haney, who is 30 wins, no loss, no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout. He is 24 years of age, 5'9 with a 72-inch arm reach. They don't really focus on Devin Haney. He's promoted by undefeated unified three belt wba wbc ibf welterweight world champion superstar boxer who is widely considered by many to be top two best pound for pound fighters in the world and earl the truth spence jr earl spence jr is going into a massive highly anticipated fight but in this situation he is the promoter man down promotions to which frank martin is signed to and earl spence has called out shakur stevenson multiple times now for a fight and frank martin said that he wants this fight next and shakur stevenson responded and said you better be working your tail off because i'm coming so with that said it looks like Devin haney could possibly be moving up javante tank davis was just released from uh jail uh he looks very slim down and he's looking to make a statement now a fight with javante tank davis would be the easiest fight to be made seeing as though javante tank davis is signed with Showtime, Showtime President Sports, Steven Espinosa, PBC, Premier Boxing Champion, Founder and Advisor, Al Heyman, and uh, uh, GTD Promotions, Javante Tank Davis Promotions, where Shakur Stevenson is with legendary promoter, top-ranked CEO, Bob Arum, ESPN. So that's more of a difficult fight to be made. But with this fight with Tank Davis, it's on the same side of the street. It's an easier fight to be made. Devin Haney is a network promotional free agent, but he has the, his sights set on going up to junior welterweight. So with that said, I predict that Frank Martin would put on a dazzling performance tonight. And I think that Frank Martin is going to get a fourth round knockout victory over our team tonight. I think he's, he's going to make a statement. I think he's going to put a punctuation mark on it. And then he's going to call out Shakur Stevenson. So let's see how this unfolds. But I think the talent, the explosiveness, the quickness, the power of Frank Martin is going to be simply too much for our team. Our team is crafty, but he won't be able to absorb what Frank Martin is dishing out. And I got Frank Martin winning by a fourth round knockout victory. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. And then I think that Frank Martin, Errol Spence are going to call out Shakur Stevenson. How likely is that? I don't know. There is also Mexican superstar title contender, I seek Pitbull Cruz, but Frank Martin has explained that Isaac Cruz, who's going to be fighting as the co-main event to Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford fight July 29th in two weeks, Isaac Cruz, according to Frank Martin, had turned down uh, a fight with Frank Martin, okay? Isaac Cruz is 24 wins, two losses, one draw, 
17 wins by way of knockout. Uh, he is 25 years of age, five foot three with a 63 inch army. So Isaac Cruz uh, turned down the fight with Frank Martin twice. So Isaac Cruz, Frank Martin, I thought should have been the co-main event to Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence. Uh, and uh, Isaac Cruz didn't accept. And then Frank Martin said when Errol Spence fought your Dana Sugis, he tried to fight Isaac Cruz and Isaac Cruz turned it down. So there's, there's big fights to be made. But he got to make a statement, and I think he gets a fourth-round knockout victory. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. I'm gone. Peace.